after literally being in a heat wave for 15 days we are now sitting in our favorite pub in the pouring rain just to cool off and waiting till the rain gets over so hi folks so uh, they promised us uh, thunderstorms so uh, as you can see in the back light or in the back thing we are getting what they promised oh my god this is going to be one hell of a ride Woo. Oh, this is so good oh yeah dog oh. again I haven't been uh, posting a few days because um, temperatures were just too high uh, we just uh, experienced a heat wave for the last seven or eight days so uh, it was just too hot we have we hit it every time a hundred and a hundred plus degrees and uh, it was just too hot and I couldn't put out any content because it was too too hot to, to go outside so uh, yeah uh, so I didn't vlog for a few days so I was just uh, chilling at home you know in the apartment and really doing nothing I just watched YouTube Netflix we still have the corona issues around here so uh, we are also in a second wave <clears throat> So, different parts of Belgium have uh, increased cases of Corona again, so uh, they are, the government is taking measures, measures for that, so, um, so uh, we have to be careful when we go out, okay? But now uh, the weather is better now, it's uh, today 75 degrees, so, uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's uh, 24 now at this moment, it's now... 10 a.m. so uh, we are still in the holiday season right now so uh, I still don't have to work so I have time to come over here and chill at my lounge um, as you can see I'm at the lounge now I have the shed in the back um, I'm just chilling here having uh, my coffee watching the sheep and uh, they're doing well they had some problems with the heat for the last days uh, because they are getting their fur again so 
when temperatures are really high that's better to leave them you know to leave them alone and you know not to stress them a lot it's the same for the dog so couldn't take the dog out for walks and everything because it was just too hot okay so uh, this will be a short vlog today because I don't have a lot of content so uh, there's not nothing much going on so uh, yeah I just see what I can do I took my bicycle and I'm going to the to the shipyard we had some uh, we had some thunderstorms yesterday and overnight and some uh, rain showers so but yesterday I forgot to close the door of the shed and I'm on my way now there to see what if I have any damage due to the rain showers that we had yesterday and overnight so it rained pretty heavily so uh, I'm not sure how <laughs> how it will look when I arrive there so uh, riding a bicycle holding a camera and smoking it's not good it's one one thing too many so I'm sorry for the shaky footage but that's because I'm riding my bicycle so well, let's have a look how let's have a look how it will be well, it looks pretty good Okay, let's have a look how we've been. Oh, it's good. Look, I don't have a lot of damage. What have happened over there? What happened here? This, this came down a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix this. This is not looking pretty good. I'm gonna have to fix this because the, the bottles are falling off. So as I can see right now I don't have any water so that's okay. And it looks pretty good outside. So I don't have any don't have a lot of damage anyway, so oh that's wet. Water in it, so I forgot to put this in the in there. And it seems this is all wet as well, because normally I. Have it. Normally I put this plastic thing over there, so it doesn't get wet from the rain who's coming off the rooftop. So I forgot that, so uh, that wood will, will be a little bit wet, So, but it will dry out in a few days because they are forecasting uh, some pretty good weather. So as you can see, what's the matter with you, babe? Yeah, what's the matter with you? Did you enjoy the rain? Did you enjoy the rain, Hercule? Did you enjoy the rain? They look a little bit wet. I guess they enjoy the... the rain a little bit as a shower. I guess it was refreshing for them as well. So, okay. Let me start with feeding them first and then uh, I will come come back to you. It's just starting raining raining again. 
when I was uh, preparing the feed for uh, the sheep. As you can see, I just put it in a bucket and uh, I let it soak now in uh, in water. So it needs to soak for a minimum two hours so it gets really moistured and it has the time to swell. As you can see, it's raining and they don't even care. They like to enjoy it. For them, it's a refreshing shower, refreshing rain shower because their wool, their wool is coming to grow fast again. So uh, we are now halfway August. By the time in uh, halfway September, they will be almost fully into the wool, and that prepares them for the next coming winter. So, but they don't seem to mind the rain. And uh, I built this this thing here. It's like a plastic cover. I put it over my uh, my lounge bank. So if it rains like that, I have more space to you know to sit and to sit outside than I have in uh, in my shed. Otherwise, I uh, you see I needed to see I needed to sit in my shed. But I don't have that view outside from this little door, so that's why I, uh, you know, you see, I put it this there. This is only temporarily, so uh, I will remove it at the end of the summer because next year I will build, I will build something who is more durable and who can stay as well in the winter as in the summer but um, as you all know I'm doing this on a very 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 low budget so I have to wait till I have the necessary things to do that because I need to plant put wooden wooden beams in the ground to support the whole thing because when in the winter time it's windy and everything so it does doesn't blow away from the wind so as you can see now i this is you know you look this is just temporarily this is not windproof so if the winds the wind picks up too much i don't guarantee this will stay because it will go with the wind so i have to check it every day and uh this is cheap stuff because you can see here there are already holes in it where the water comes through it and uh, but for the time being it's it's okay for me it is what it is and it keeps me a little bit dry when I sit here and I still have a view of what's going on over there in the yard so I can sit there and chill and still have a good look what's going on on the yard so and normally as long as I'm sitting here the sheep will always be in that area so I see the sheep and they see me because they think as long as I'm sitting here they will they will get fed so but they still have to wait a little bit more so uh, I just brought brought in a new bale of hay as you can see here this is fresh dried hay it has a little bit of moisture in it, about 25% moisture in it, 20 to 25% moisture in it. So I put it here inside the shed, otherwise it will start to it will start start to rot if I uh, leave it outside, especially in rain showers like this here now. literally being in a heat wave for 15 days we are now sitting in our favorite pub in the pouring rain just to cool off and waiting till the rain gets over so yeah she really wants to go so she wants to go we go 
it's as simple as that she wanted to go to see the sheep so we're going to see the sheep easy focused she's so focused to get there it's been pouring rain so uh, we didn't do anything this afternoon so uh, well, she wants to go and have a look so we go and have a look so uh, we are on our way as you can see we made it uh, through the to the shipyard and uh, she's excited she's somewhere there in the corner there she is okay there she is she's excited so uh, by arriving here the sheep know that uh, they are going to get fed so uh, remind you this afternoon or at noon I told you that I would uh, you know this is the beetroot pulp beet pulp so you can see it's well swollen up so this is for Hercule the male and this is a bit more this is for the two females they also get he gets one cup of this flakes corn flakes and then and, and, you know with uh, some gerst and uh, other stuff in it and the females they get two cups two cups of uh, like mice it's like mice corn and, and and stuff in it natural food bio bio natural food so it's time time to feed the sheep so, Okay, a lot of people are asking uh, how does it come that the male sheep is now he's kept separately of the females so I will explain to you this is how it is we are now halfway August we are 14 August right now and it's been now three weeks since the the lambs have gone from their mother exactly it's two and a half weeks so the mother sheep are separately on the on their yard because now they are recuperating uh, for the next for their next uh, season of having babies so I have to keep him uh, away from them so they have time to recuperate and also now they are coming in heat again and he would jump them too soon so I would have lambs too soon in the year so I have to wait to halfway September before he can go back to the females and do his job um, because then I have lambs around end of January 
begin February and that's the season that uh, most of the lambs are born so and since they are uh, pedigree sheep I have to strictly uh, keep myself to the periods that the sheep can have lambs so that's why he is on this side of the sheep yard and the females are on the other side of uh, the sheep yard but from halfway September he can go to the females and do his job and then he can stay with them uh, till around two weeks before the lambs are born and then I have to keep him off again because otherwise if the lambs are born he would kill them he would kill the young lambs in a couple of days because when there are no lambs that means the sheep are faster in heat and he can you know and he can jump the sheep again so when the lambs are born for the first month I have to keep him away from the lambs otherwise he would kill them for sure this is I know uh, nature can be sometimes cruel but it is what it is so if the lambs are born you have to keep the ram away from the lambs when they are born otherwise he would uh, he would just kill them without no regrets and even without no feelings he would kill the lambs instantly because then he knows you know if 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 the mother sheep don't have lambs anymore they are coming faster in heat again and he can jump them again as soon as possible so that's why for the first man month the lambs are born he has to go separately after one month it doesn't matter anymore because then the lambs are big enough and if they see any danger of him they can they can just run away then they are big enough you know to to help themselves and, and run away if he comes aggressive but uh, yeah that's this is what it is so I have I, I hope this is a good answer for people who are asking questions how come he is now separately and the mother sheep are on the other yard the fact is just it's too soon to let them together otherwise I will have lambs too soon in the year I would have lambs in December and that's not good uh, I, I rather have lambs end of January begin February like it's supposed to be so uh, that's that okay it's just questions and answers Q&A so if there are other people who wants to ask me questions about doesn't matter what what whatever put them in the description and I will try my best to answer your questions uh, and give you a, a straight answer to your questions I don't know but now they have been fed you see the dog is uh, she's laying down she still has a little bit of uh, issues with the heat wave that we had for about 15 days so uh, she's still recuperating as you can see she's blowing blowing heavily heavily so uh, she's quickly out of bread right right now so uh, I guess we just head back home the sheep have been fed they have fresh hay they just have been fed the water is okay so we're just gonna leave it uh, like this okay thanks <laughs>